Hey everyone, welcome back. So we've been talking a lot about cards and I think that's totally fine. And I think we're gonna do a little bit more actually. Now, I've been working on the order list. So when you make an order, it has different variations like, you know, shipped. I have one that says almost there. I have one that says delivered. And we also have a list like you can probably filter and that list has a title and, you know, different cards look different for things that are in the shipping process. And I've actually started to build out like a little card like that. So I have one that's over here. And uh, this is just like kind of like a live tracker. And maybe, you know, this becomes a component. It probably should become a component, but we're gonna create it into a recipe for now. And then that's another thing. As I said, design systems will evolve. You will add to them, you will remove from them things that were once useful don't become useful anymore and things that are needed become components so you can reuse them so in this case this will probably become a component now let me show you what it will look like so if i had an order card okay so i'm just going to grab just a regular order card so this will be that with this like i said we can try, probably make this into an auto layout. So let's uh, bring this all the way up so we can see exactly what we're working with. So we have an order shipped card over here and uh, we have our product. So this is probably like a $15 book. Lean startup. So we have our shipped um, and what I've done here, I've gone ahead and I started thinking about creating like, you know, like a little tracker, something very nice for people to kind of see how things are panning out with their package. You know, there's probably a, a portion of this that, you know, we're missing something here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take pills, small, like we can even use the base pill in this instance. I'm going to use the base pill at least. And I'm just going to say something like delivered by 0808-2020, even though we are past that date at the moment. So we are going to be delivered by then. And that base pill, we can also just change that UI, we can do a couple different things. It really depends. Like we can make it background of yellow and the text can be like dark like that. This is uh, I think fine for now. So maybe delivery by that date. That looks good. What I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna turn this into an auto layout, big surprise. Whoa. So let's see what happened here. So we have a package tracker. Let's see what happens. So that interesting that didn't. So what we can do is we're going to copy that. Select where I want it. So that is one piece of the list. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an effect and the background uh, product, we can call this medium. So this is the problem. We have a package tracker. And so we're using the background color. That's the problem. Okay. Okay. And this is going to be our background color. We're going to just use a frame. And we are going to use uh, 10 pixels for the radius. And then we are going to apply the recipe to that. So let's not clip that content right now. And there you go. We have our card that is probably too unnoticeable. So we have a card here. So this probably should become a component. I'll leave it up to your discretion if you want to do that. We have UI stroke, just, just that border there. So you know that you can distinguish between that and the next card. So we have our order status ship. So we can say order shipped 
And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create another frame and I'm going to call this order list. And you guessed it, auto layout. And we're going to do 16 pixels. And we are going to go ahead and grab one of our cards here. We're going to go and find our order card. Where is it? And uh, we'll find a delivered card. And we'll just place it there for now. And this delivered card will go into our order list. Perfect. So that is fine. So I can actually like remove this background. Let's make that like that. Let's do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background color or the background. So we have our map tracker, we have our map, we can just pump that up. And yeah, so I'm going to actually remove the stroke because I think, you know, we can just keep it flat. And these can be maybe spaced out. Let's see. These can be spaced out probably by 24. And these ones probably around eight. So we have that connection. So I think that's kind of fine for now. I'm liking it. What we're gonna do is we can add another item. So when I think of these lists, I think there's something here. We probably put a horizontal rule, but let's move ahead. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to, you know, make that title. So if I want to think about order list, we probably should be able to, you know, filter it. Let's do that. And then let's grab a filter button. So I've been using like this checkbox variant that I've made. Where is it? So let's do grow. That's been really good. And we're just going to call this filters. So we can probably filter by different things, price and maybe just timeline. Let's Bring that together, we can, we can just call this filters. And I'm going to expand that all the way to the full width. I'm going way out here. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, that, and I am going to make sure they are centered to each other. And then I am actually going to take my frame that is now not resized and I'm going to put the filter list in there. So I have my order list, I have my filters and I'm going to create another frame. We just call this a filtered list and uh, yeah, auto layout, 24 pixels. Maybe this one is 16, but let's clean that up. So now like you can create an easy list of different types of products. You'll notice that like we have our last three months plus our filters. We have like a current shipped status. I mean, you can also go ahead and change some of these things. Like you can say this is in transit. So you have different variations, kind of like a live tracker that we've designed here that you can just kind of like copy. I can just take this like this. Okay, I need to use an order list right now for what I'm designing or a filter list and I'm just gonna drop that right into my designs. Easy peasy. So 
Yeah, definitely use recipes. Recipes are gonna speed up your workflow. Recipes are gonna set a good standard for your team on what different collection of components look like, what components are gonna interact with each other, whether that be like these cards or like buttons, check boxes. It'll also sometimes uh, make you and force you to think about what you may be missing from a component. So we may go back and add this map tracker as a component where people can kind of, you know, use that default map just to display a map and also using this kind of pinging thing we can possibly even animate that so like we can make it go in and out or more specifically just the background we can just make it pulse when we think about like micro interaction so pull those different things out of your designs they're going to really help you you know figure out what you need to build and also make your workflow much more easier. That's why I do a lot of these things. You know, this design system is just gonna help us, you know, add to this app. We can turn it around, make something else from this, but it sets a good standard on what a design system should kind of look like. And it's gonna be different for everyone. So this is my design of the orders list.